That's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plank. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Yeah. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. No, not the front. Go around the back. Good man! 
my good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet uh -huh. you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling some, partner? Free. Final alignment. What? Final alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built it, put our brains in here, but our souls are back. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. I can fix it for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey is just causing the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand tall, sir. Gin. They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. Was your wit made of grain as it is? It leaves the spine brittle. Hence your hobbling jock, please. Stay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. I got magic. Seriously, it's all about the spine. We think our brains is in our heads. But they are in our backs, too. Oh! Oh! I can tell you're a very wise man, but the troubles, they're killing you. That's a spot. Oh, my head. Do you like dancing? No, I've never been a dancing man, no. That, that explains everything! <sighs> Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah! Yeah! Huh. A little bit better. This session has been paid to pass. I might call again. How much will it cost me? I'm not bringing you for anything. You can ask me about money. Sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. Myrick. A reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next time. Gentlemen. Done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yeah. Should have been more careful. Take it easy, Arthur. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Slow it down a bit. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it 
wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hey, slow it down. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Slow up now. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good, I'm glad. 